Hello, viewers and subscribers. This is Evil Television. That was Father Mbaka of Adoration Ministry in Enugu State. Father Mbaka and Mr. Pitobi have not been best of friends right from uh, the last presidential election that saw Atiku Abubakar losing to the incumbent president, uh, Mohamed Buhari. Yes, Father Mbaka is at it once again as uh, Mr. Pitobi. The Labour Party presidential candidate is gearing up for the 2023 presidential election. Father Mbaka is back once again, saying that he has cost Mr. Pitobi and that Mr. Pitobi should come to the altar and apologize. Father Mbaka said that he is the prophet of God and that Mr. Pitobi must come to apologize. If he wished to succeed in his presidential bid to rule Nigeria, this is what we are getting this evening. And um, it is left for you to tell us. Comment in the comment section and tell us what you think about this. And uh, tell us what you think Farampaka is doing by his action. Mr. Peter Obi is an Igbo man and Mr. Mbaka is equally an Igbo man. And um, it's been long the southeastern Nigeria have been out of power. And uh, this is the closest time Igbos came close to at least having a ticket of a political party to buy for the presidency of Nigeria. And uh, at this point in time, it appears that Mr. Peter is the most popular politician right now in Nigeria. Yes, you can check out all the contenders. Mr. Peter is the most popular, both online and offline. In fact, that young people are now going out there to get their PVC. It's just, Mr. Uh, just because of Mr. Peter Obi. And that is the position. You know, if you go from Lagos to Abuja to Onicha to everywhere, Port Harcourt, young people are trooping out. Celebrities are everywhere in Nigeria preaching through their social media handles that people should get their PVC, permanent uh, voters' card, to be able to vote in the next coming presidential election and here we are once again a supposed man of God is uh, demanding that Mr. Peter Obi should come must come to apologize at the temple at his altar or the altar of God over what he did and what did Mr. Peter B do? From all his accusations so far, from all we are able to deduce, Mr. Peter B is not an evil man, he's not a criminal, he's not um, a murderer. His only accusation on Peter B is that Mr. Peter is stingy. He does not give money. He does not give money. That is Mr. Peter Obi's uh, wrongdoing in all of this. And you begin to wonder, um, what is this about? Are we encouraging public office holders to steal public funds from the public treasury and bring it to the man of God, supposed man of God. What are we trying to influence in our society today? And this is where Mr. Pitobi is different. He is remarkably different. 
he doesn't believe that you could take public funds and use it anyhow you wish. Let me not bother you with all this uh, long grammar. Just go to the comment section and tell us what you think about this uh, Faram Bakas uh, explosion. This evening. Thank you for watching.